Hi bears, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Ofenza and I am your book bear. Your book bear is once again in the building, period. On this channel, we discuss bookish content and also cover, you know, we dabble in lifestyle here and there. So today's review is Viola Davis's Finding Me. I actually got this gift, this book as a gift a couple of months ago for my birthday and I finally finished it. At some stage, I actually thought I'd lost the book, which delayed my reading significantly. I was coming, I know that I went with it I took a trip to Durban last year at the end of last year and then I couldn't find it when I got back so I was convinced that I left it in the uber I kept pestering this poor uber driver because I was like dude I left my my book in your car I know I did then a couple of months later I was looking in my gym bag and I found it getting into the review so Viola Davis is finding me it's an autobiography and if you guys are no stranger to the channel you know that I love autobiographies so I'm no stranger to the genre in fact it is actually one of my favorite genres because you know the journalist in me wants to just dive deeper but um yeah I love the book I love Viola Davis I love how to get away with murder I've loved her um, on stage performances as well like from what I've seen I'm not necessarily a stage or theater girly but you know Viola Davis her acting potential is something special some of the major themes that I picked up in the autobiography is naturally her life and poverty so um, something that may or may not come as a surprise to um, you the viewer is that Viola Davis had quite a difficult life growing up she speaks often about how she grew up in poverty and what her struggles were and and um, yeah, it was quite interesting just to hear her speak so intimately about that. I think that um, it was very candid. Like, I don't think a lot of people who have kind of grown up that way and kind of escaped that way of life or escape, you know, often talk about it so openly. And that was refreshing. I like that, especially to see her as such a success right now. I think that's important representation from the perspective of somebody who might actually need to know that somebody actually did it. So I can too, you know, just as a reference point and also just owning who she is. She speaks at the very beginning of the book about how Will Smith asked her a question, who are you? I think that was the question he asked her. And that kind of um, formulates part of the whole, like, I guess, background of the book. The theme of identity is very strong in the book. Family, black tax, working hard and education doing what you can as an actor to grow and expand your brand and yourself and um, growing in your self-awareness. Trauma is a huge theme in the book. Abuse, huge theme in the book. Domestic violence and how with people around you are affected by domestic violence or can be affected by domestic violence, particularly in the home. Some of the baggage that you carry after experiencing something like that. So, oh, the electricity just came back on, which means that I can start driving to work. <laughs> I actually started filming this review because I felt like, okay, there's no way that I'm going to be stuck in that traffic because my mom actually called me telling me that she is stuck in traffic and she doesn't want me to leave right now because I will be wasting my time so she advised me to just take a moment wait until the electricity comes back drink some coffee i chose juice and um then just leave after that so i decided to film a review because i'm already made up period and i finished the book about two nights ago so it's still quite fresh in my it's just it's so well written and i f felt like i was discussing it with a friend of mine jamela and she was telling me that i told her that i realized i felt like as the book progressed Viola became more candid and open and excited actually about what she was writing about. Like it just became more thrilling, right? And then she, well, actually, I spoke about how the writing just became more rich as you progress in the book. And then it kind of reaches this, like, I don't know, the climax of her writing right at the end. So Jamila was telling me that she felt like as the book progresses, she gets more excited about the subject matter and her life as she's growing. So it becomes it feels that way it feels like the writing becomes more rich because she's just more expressive and more excited and more kind of like joyful in her writing so we've discussed themes now i want to go into what i liked about the book number one i like the writing style it took me a while to get into the book at the very beginning i had been coming out of a reading slump and i also didn't really know what to expect because i had read the book i had wanted to read the book and i had seen it everywhere and i always feel so apprehensive when i see a book like that's overexposed like right now i'm 
I'm reading Spare by Prince Harry. I'm not sure if you can see it in the background over here. And it's just overexposed. It's just everywhere. And I'm just always so apprehensive. Oh, and another book that I'm currently reading is An Angel's Demise by Sunyati. So that is also something that's been everywhere. Just reading it, formulating my own opinion was very important to me. I did kind of feel left out for a while because I'm like, yo, everybody's reading this book. I just love this picture of her at the back. So yeah, what I did like, the picture at the back, <laughs> her writing style, her honesty, it was so refreshing. Her vulnerability, she was very vulnerable in the book. I think she shared a lot of things that people experience or feel, but they're not necessarily willing to open up and share. This is what I'm going through, this is how I feel. Um, sexual abuse and sexual trauma is also a theme in the book. Relationship trauma, also a theme in the book. She bared it all in this book and I appreciate her for that, I really do. In some of her writing, she's very good at alluding to things. And in other times, I think that she's very good at just putting things as they are. I think she, she finds a delicate balance between what she will discuss fully and what she won't and i think it's something that a lot of authors don't necessarily understand that idea of pause and i think when i was in grade six drama i remember my drama teacher always used to talk about pitch pause phrase and emphasis and that can translate also in your writing so obviously as a trained actress she definitely masters that skill even in her writing yeah what i loved also just her recollection of her career tra trajectory so she goes quite in detail with regards to just like when she started acting on stage with her siblings in a competition a talent show up until now when she won that oscar and you know i just yeah it's a, it's a great read i would recommend um so really got to that part definitely would recommend what i didn't like about the book it was a slow start so like i said earlier in the video i'm not sure if that's a me thing or if it's a book thing but yeah her writing I, it took me a while to get into it what else didn't i like i don't know like i actually quite didn't have much many notes that i didn't like about the book i think that an autobiography is always quite personal so you can only necessarily you can only critique it from the perspective of uh, the writing or the tone because you can never necessarily police how somebody else tells their story so great writing great expression nothing really that i didn't like apart from the fact that i felt like it was a slow start but once again that could be a personal thing what else didn't i like no no notes beyond that and then with regards to will i would i recommend the book definitely would we um recommend this book and out of 10 i would give it a solid nine nine out of ten because i feel like there's so much more to come from viola davis and it was an like, exceptional read was i flawed was i absolutely like wow best read ever no not necessarily but that feeling more so came from the narrative the story as opposed to the actual writing or the book if that makes sense so there's always that I found like that there was that little space that just for like limited improvement but like 9 out of 10 is like a you know a 90% still a phenomenal read definitely would recommend for somebody who is wanting to know more about Viola Davis her journey and also just wants a, like a a real read you know something that you can draw inspiration from and also um, understand her better and also just um if you are dealing with your own personal trauma or baggage from your childhood, maybe reading another person's story about how they overcame some of the things that they faced and challenged. Story of forgiveness, I would also say. I mean, I would recommend that book for also for that reason as well. So if you haven't already, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let's grow this bookish channel, child. Like um, this is my second completed read of the year so like i mentioned i am reading spare and an angel's demise currently so spare by prince harry as well as an angel's demise by sunyati this i'm halfway is it half almost halfway and then i'm still very much at the beginning stages of spare so i will definitely post my commentary on those two and what i think about them in due course let me know what are you reading what do you feel I should review on the channel? I know there's a backlog. Um, a couple like a couple of months ago, people started sending me like more books that they wanted me to review, and I still have those, you know, in my mind. I just wanted to get through these ones, these three particularly, because they have been something that has been, you know, everywhere. You can't, I think, escape um, the three books that I'm currently well these three books here that i'm referring to so guys let me get to work <laughs> bye for now